We now know what an oxidation state or an oxidation number is and what it, it means when things are oxidized or reduced. And let's see how that actually happens in reactions. So what we're going to study in this video is oxidation, oxidation, slash reduction reactions. And all that is is a reaction where somebody's being oxidized, which means that electrons are being taken away from them, and someone's being reduced, which means that they're being handed electrons, or they're taking electrons away from someone else. And sometimes this has been termed, because you have the, the RED in reduction, and you have the ox in oxidation, and they switch them around, and they call this a redox reaction, which sounds like a very fancy chemistry term, but it just means a reaction where something is getting oxidized, and if something is getting oxidized, something else is getting reduced. So let's study a couple of them. So right here, I actually have combustion. This is actually methane. So you, you know, methane is a fuel. It can be used to, you can make a motor powered on methane right there. It's a hydrocarbon. Most fuels that we use are hydrocarbons, which just mean carbons bonded in a bunch of different ways to a bunch of hydrogens. And if you add a bunch of, uh, enough heat for the reaction to happen, so it's an activation energy, you have to put it in there, with some oxygen around, it's going to combust. And it's going to produce carbon dioxide and water, and I didn't put it here, and even more heat than you put into it. So it's actually an exothermic reaction. It produces more heat than you put into it. And I'll do a lot more of that in future videos on endothermic and exothermic reactions. But anyway, we care about the oxidation and the reduction. So let's see if anyone's getting oxidized or anyone is getting reduced here. So let's look at their oxidation numbers or their states. Here, carbon is bonded to four hydrogens. Who's giving, who's taking? So carbon, let's go to our periodic table. Carbon is here. Hydrogen is here. Carbon is more electronegative. It's almost, it's, it's adjacent to kind of the, the three musketeers of electronegativity. These guys are the most electronegative. We always ignore the halogens, because they pretty much, not the halogens, sorry, the noble gases, because they pretty much don't react at all. They're always happy with their eight valence electrons. These guys love to get electrons. They're small molecules. Their outermost shell is close to the pro is close to the nucleus, and they're so close to becoming noble that they just they, they, they just love hogging electrons. Carbon's almost there. Carbon's much further to the right on the periodic table than the hydrogen. So if you if you have carbon bonding with hydrogen, carbon is going to be the electron hog. So in this situation Let's go down here. So if carbon's the electron hog and hydrogen is having its electrons taken away from it, remember, this is all kind of hypothetical. It's more partial as the reality. But in, if, if you had to pick or choose, hydrogen's going to lose e electron each. So it's going to have an oxidation state of plus 1 for each hydrogen. You have four hydrogens each giving up an electron. So the carbon must be taking four electrons. So its oxidation number is minus 4. It's taken 4 electrons. So its charge will go down by 4. So that's why it's negative. Fair enough. What's the oxidation state of this oxygen right there? Well, it's just bonded to itself. There's no reason to believe that one oxygen should be able to take any electrons from another oxygen. So it has a 0 oxidation state. It's not hogging more than its, its fair share of electrons that it was essentially kind of born with. Now, after the combustion occurs, what are the oxidation numbers? Well, I have oxygen bonded with carbon. Two oxygens bonded with carbon. Now, we know oxygen, I mean, oxidation was to some degree named after oxygen. It is one of the most electronegative. Almost anything bonded with oxygen is going to be giving up its electrons. We also know that oxygen likes to take two electrons, because if it takes one, two electrons, then it starts having a, if it takes one, it gets here, two, it gets here. It has a configuration like a, it has eight valence electrons. So its typical oxidation number is minus two. So carbon, in this, in this situation, your, each oxygen is going to have a minus two oxidation number. The carbon dioxide molecule is neutral. So everything has to add up to 0. The oxygens, you have two of them, each of them with a minus 2 oxidation number. So that's minus 4. So carbon must be plus 4. Plus 4. Which means that it has given up 4 electrons. right? And really, it only has 4 electrons to give up. It has 1, 2, 3, 4 
valence electrons in its in its second shell, which is its reactive shell. So its oxidation number is plus four. Now let's look at the water. We've done that a bunch. When the the hydrogens each give up an electron, so they get they have an oxidation number of one. Each oxygen takes two electrons. There's only one of them, so it's minus two. So what's going on here? What's getting oxidized? What's getting reduced? You have the carbon. It went from an oxidation number of minus four to an oxidation number of plus four. So let me just draw what's happening to the carbon. Carbon goes from minus four, which means it's hogging four electrons, to a situation where it's where it's having four electrons being hogged from it. It's kind of giving away four electrons. So someplace in this process, this guy must have given away eight electrons. This is a difference of eight electrons. So plus plus eight electrons. So what's happened to carbon? Carbon has been, has it been oxidized or reduced? Its charge has gone up, so it hasn't been reduced. Or the other way is that you can say its electrons have been taken away from it. So it has been oxidized. Oxidized. Carbon has oxidized. Now let's look at the oxygen itself. Oxygen, over here you have four oxygen molecules. I'll just write four oxygen molecules here. And they all have an oxidation state of 0. They have their, from an oxidation number point of view, they're neutral. And on this side, we have two, and then we have four, four oxygen molecules. And what's their oxidation state? They're all minus two. They're all minus two. So oxygen must each of these oxygens must have gained an electron. So actually, let me let me rewrite this reaction. Let me rewrite. Let me erase a little bit of it. So each of these, actually, even better. Let me just move this over. Nope. Let me move it over. There you go. And I can move that over. Uh, there you go, and let me fill in that just so we aesthetically it's pleasing. There you go. All right. So we have four oxygens with a zero oxidation state turning into four oxygens with a minus two oxidation state. So each of these four oxygens took two electrons. There's four of them. So we must have we must have gained eight electrons. So what happened to oxygen? Its oxidation state went down, or its hypothetical charge went down, or it was reduced. Its charge was reduced. So this is reduced. Oxygen was reduced. What was it reduced by? It was reduced by, by the carbon. What was the carbon oxidized by? It was oxidized by the oxygen, which oxygen tends to do. It tends to oxidize things. What is the oxidizing agent? What's well, the thing that did the oxidizing? So the oxygen is the oxidizing agent. What is the reducing agent? What's well, the thing that did the reducing? It's the reducing agent, is the carbon. Reducing agent. So you see, in this redox reaction, carbon was oxidized. It gave away eight electrons from this state to that state, hypothetically. And oxygen was reduced. Its charge was reduced by a total of eight electrons, but for two for each oxygen. And so its oxidation number went down. Let's do a couple more. And each of these things I wrote, just to kind of do a side note, this is called a half reaction, because I'm writing just what happened to the carbon. And here I'm writing just what happened to the oxygen. And I did ignore something. I did ignore the hydrogen. And I encourage you to do something like this with the hydrogen. But you'll see that hydrogen was neither oxidized or reduced. On both sides of this equation, all of the hydrogens had a plus 1 oxidation state. Let's do another one. Here I have another combustion situation. This is what happened to the Hindenburg. They filled a balloon full with hydrogen because they wanted it to float, because hydrogen is, is, is a very light gas. Unfortunately, there must have been a spark and uh, in the presence of oxygen, and it combusted. And actually, this is, this is what is used for rocket fuel as well. If you have liquid hydrogen and uh, actually, I don't think they have liquid hydrogen. Well, I, I don't know enough about rocket science. I'll have to do another video on that in the future. But let's look at the oxidation states. What's the oxidation state of hydrogen here in its elemental form? It's 0. Two hydrogens bonded to each other. No reason why they should hog or, or be hogged by another hydrogen. Two oxygen molecules or atoms bonded to each other. Once again, 0 oxidation state. 
Once they combust and form water, what's their oxidation states? We've done this multiple times. The oxygen has a minus 2 oxidation state. Each hydrogen has a plus 1. So let's write the half reactions. We have two hydrogens that are just happy as they are, neutral state, and they end up w being, oh, sorry, yeah, same thing, two H2s, or we could have written four hydrogens either way. They turn into two hydrogens, two hydrogen molecules, as there's actually four hydrogen atoms, with a plus one oxidation state. So they must have each given away one electron. Now, how many total hydrogens are there? There are four. So we must have given away four electrons, plus four electrons. So this is the half reaction for hydrogen. Now, let's do the same thing for our oxygen. We have some oxygen here. On the left-hand side, it has a neutral oxidation state. And then it ends up with a, we end up with two oxygens on the right-hand side. I could write it, well, I'll write it like this, 2O, each with a minus 2 oxidation state. So each of these oxygens must have gotten two electrons. So it got two electrons each, or it gained four electrons. So what was oxidized? Oxidized means that something was taken, electrons were taken away from you. The hydrogen was oxidized. This is oxidized. Oxidized by oxygen. What was reduced? The oxygen was reduced by, by the hydrogen. And if you actually add these two reactions up, if you make this the left-hand side of your equation, and you make this the right-hand side of your equation, that you could say, OK, let's, let me remove the electrons from both sides, and you'll end up with your original reaction. What was, and just to make sure our terminology is right, what's our oxidizing agent? It's the thing doing the oxidizing. It's the oxygen. What's our reducing agent? It's the hydrogen. Let's do one more. So here I have iron plus some hydrochloric acid. Let's say this is in an aqueous solution. And you end up with iron 2 chloride plus some hydrogen. So let's do some oxidation numbers. And I'll do it fast this time. Iron is just by itself. It's got a zero oxidation state. Hydrogen with chloride. Chloride is a halogen. Halogen. These guys love to take electrons. They love to take one electron. They typically have a minus 1 oxidation state. So this, the chlorine is going to have minus 1. The hydrogen is going to be plus 1. Add them together, you get to a neutral compound. Fair enough. Now you go on this side. What is chlorine's oxidation state? Well, once again, it always likes to take one electron. So this is minus 1. But I have two chlorines here. And this is a neutral compound. So the iron oxidation state must be plus 2. Plus 2. What about the hydrogen? Now it's just in its elemental form, so it's going to be neutral. So it has a zero oxidation state. So what was oxidized? Our iron, our iron went from neutral to being to having two electrons taken away from it, which may give it a positive charge. So so plus two electrons got taken away. So this was oxidized. So this is oxidized. What about the hydrogen? The hydrogen went from two hydrogens with a plus one state. And essentially, they went to, a, to two hydrogens with a neutral state. So two electrons must have been added to the hydrogens. Two electrons were added. Their charge was reduced. So they were reduced. And what were they reduced by? They were reduced by the iron. What was the iron re oxidized by? It was oxidized by the hydrogen. What about the chlorine? The chlorine has a minus 1 oxidation number here. It has a minus 1 oxidation number here. It was, it was neutral relative to the redox reaction. Anyway, I think you get the point now. And you could do this with a bunch of reactions. But this will give you a little bit more insight of actually what's going on and who's gaining or losing electrons. And in the future, it'll also help us think about a lot of the structures of molecules. Anyway, see you in the next video.